the AM antenna came in. So I'll be installing that. I may... Well, you know what? I don't... The bracket is good, so I'm just going to unscrew... Yeah, I'll just remove these two screws, slide the these clips into position, and then put that there. But what I need to figure out is... So the two, the black and the white wire, connect to the bottom of this board, the AM board. Oop, put that away. So I'll need to see if I can access that from the bottom. I don't remember if that is open or if that is sealed. I believe it's open, but I'm going to check that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this over see what's going on with the wires. I may have to flip it up on its side to install the new antenna. Then I'm going to test it. I'm going to see if uh, how the volume is for AM, see if that improves it at all. And then, uh, and then I'll kind of come up with a game plan from there. All right, the AM antenna has been installed. There is an issue with this though, and I may have to modify the clips, the clips that hold this in place are, they're broken. So they're not, uh, they're actually, there's some pieces missing. So I may have to, um, I may have to change up how that's secured there. But I'm going to see what happens with this first. So it's off, volume down, it's on AM, need to plug it in. Let's see. Okay, so AM, the signal meter is jumping all over for AM now. So that's good. Oh yeah, good volume now. Before it was real faint, but when you don't have an antenna, that makes sense. So that's good. That's a positive for this receiver. And I think what I'm going to have to maybe do is, is uh, I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to find a way to secure this. And uh, I'll, have to, I'll have to figure that out. I was thinking maybe some zip ties, some black zip ties in a couple of strategic locations. I could look for another antenna with another set of clips, but at that point, I don't know that that's going to be necessary. Um, I just need to make sure that doesn't flop around and slide out and become another victim. And looking, had, had I known that, had I, had I thought about that, I could have just reattached this one maybe. Although, yeah, maybe. Anyway, I don't anticipate that has anything to do with FM, but you know, I'm going to connect my FM antenna. And see what happens in terms of volume and signal strength. Again, I don't see any place in the block diagram where one has an effect on the other, but stranger things have been known to happen. So FM down, yeah, FM uh, still super quiet, and no, yeah, all right, so we still have to work on FM a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and figure out a solution to secure that, that uh, doesn't look unsightly and then I'll jump into the FM section and see if I can find the issue. All right, uh, something interesting I have discovered and I, I'm not any closer to resolving the FM issue but I want to show you if I turn this on. Now muting is on right now. It's on FM. If I turn muting off, right? Oh wait, no. 
So that's weird because just a second ago. Well, I guess it was nothing. Well, so there, but I'm not on a station. So off, I hear the noise on. So what I am assuming is that it's probably not an issue with the muting circuit, which are the 200s, which are part of this board here. I'm thinking it's got to be on that board or somewhere over here. I am not an FM expert by any stretch of the imagination. Like I, it's pr it's like, yeah, I, I have a hard time wrapping my brain around how these work. So um, I'm just going to keep plugging away. Uh, I, I researched online this model number and similar model numbers with FM issues. And everything points to one of these two transformers being bad. I don't know that I'm there yet, but... Um, yeah, I don't know. So, anyway, I'm going to keep plugging away at it, and um, if I find something, I'll come back to the video.